What is up, Crocs and Cloud members, Poker fans? We are here with the first episode of our Pokemon Rejuvenation Let's Play Redone. Okay, we are back <laughs> officially. Now, this is only going to be for the first episode. After this, it'll all be live streams. Okay, this will be a weekly stream for you all where we'll be playing this game live. So, you're just going to get this one for today. After this, it's all streams, okay? So let's just go ahead and get started with our next new chapter of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Where we'll be starting over from scratch in version 13.5.0. There's your content warning. By the way, I will be cutting this video because it's going to probably be long because I don't know how long the intro is nowadays. So just as a fair warning, there'll be a lot of cuts, a lot of jump cuts because I don't want to bore you guys with too many details on the first episode, all right? When we're doing live streams, no problem there. But as for the first episode, we're going to try to make this as quick and painless for you all as possible. All right. So there's the content warning. Be prepared. It's going to get crazy up in this shit. We will not skip the prologue. Actually, I might skip it for you guys. All right. So I basically skipped the tutorial. Well, not even the tutorial. The fucking beginning portion of the game. Um, because you guys don't need to see that shit again. Okay, if you want to see that, you can watch <laughs> the first episode of the prior playlist. Okay, but for now, we're going to go in the classic mode because that's what we like to see. We like to play this game in the most difficulty mode because that's one of the benefits of this game. Registration process beginning. So this part will do. Excuse me, can you hear me through that thing? Ah, that's better. Hello, it's nice to meet you. My name is Manly. I'm what you call a cow. I'm, I'm what you call a scout. Look at me, I can't even fucking talk. But what? The Amiel leave, of course. It's my job to guide newcomers like you into the world of Pokemon. Before we continue, do you need any extra assistance? Uh, I need to look at the controls again. Fantastic! Now we should talk about the expectations and requirements of the league. There are 18 gym leaders for you to defeat, alongside the Elite Eight. You heard that right? Eight. Pokemon here act a little differently from other regions. They won't obey you if they don't even work. You can check your status as a trainer by taking a look at your trainer card. Everything's listed there for you. Right, speaking of which, we should probably set that up now. What do you identify as? A boy? Okay, I got it. Okay, so I have a few profiles on hand. Mind you going through them? Okay. Please select the profile to see more. Oh, we have more options now! Okay, I'm assuming these are the non-binary. That's what they look like, you know, you got the female. Uh, male, and her Well, obviously, the boy, so we're gonna go with this. I like his new look, I gotta say. Look at it. Is this your profile? Yes. Great, looking sharp. Could you tell me your name? Obviously, same as always, we are Sorison up at this bitch. So your name's Sorison? Yes. All right, everything seems settled. Do you have anything else you need to get done? And no. I'll see you once you get to East Gearing City then. I'll be waiting for you at the East Gearing Laboratory. Don't forget, safe travels. Date, July XX, 20XX. Oh, this looks way crispier than before. I like that. That's nice. Ah, have you finished your registration process? In that case, let me print out your trader card for you. There, all done and ready for you. Please take this. Hey. With this, you are officially registered. Good luck to you, Sora-san. Thank you. Hey, look, we moved back. I don't understand why I have to register to battle in some league. What happened to the good old days of walking in and battling leaders while it has to? Wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to sign up for the league, but I went for it and I don't regret my decision. I hope to one day become the champion of Avian. But you just to show as well, no? I guess that makes us rival. No, bitches, you're all gonna die. <laughs> Alright, so we're officially here. Oh, sorry, son, I was just one way to see how things were going. And there's our mom. I like this, the sprites. No, they look a lot better, in my opinion. Sorry, son, is that your training car? How lovely, that means you're officially ready to go. Avium is a beautiful region with lots to do and see. Once we disembark at Oceana Pier, we're off to Akuma Town. It's a colder but cozy place to spend our days, you'll see. Dear, you doing okay? You've been so quiet since last night. 
Certain dialogue options in this game can affect how characters see you. Pokemon Rejuvenation has a friendship value. That is new. It didn't used to be like that. There was no friendship system. That's cool. Depending on your dialogue choices, character will respond differently and either gain or lose friendship value. Friendship values may change dialogue and other events that happen later. Choose your words carefully. Nice. I'm fine. I'm glad to hear it. I know moving is hard, but this is for the best. I promise. Anyway, we should be docking at Oceana Pier later tonight. In the meantime, why don't you go speak to the captain? He's a longtime friend of mine. As for me, I have to be somewhere right now. Please take care, Sorsa. I love you. Bye, Mom! Okay, so we just came in through there. Alright, so I'm gonna do some exploring. Alright, and if I see something interesting, I'll come back, right? Alright, so we're back. Uh, there was nothing of interest in the, in the ship. The layout is completely different than it used to be. Right before they had this ambiance of like, hey, you can look down and you can actually see the whole floor. But I guess they changed it for this version. Um, and I couldn't trigger like the cutscene with your mom and um, I forget what her name is. Nast not Nastasha. Uh, I forget what her name is. But there's a cutscene that you can trigger. It's like a special event. Um, I wasn't able to find that. I also couldn't find the people that blow up the ship. So... They've definitely changed a lot, okay? It's clearly obvious here. But we're gonna talk to the captain now, and then I'm probably gonna do another jump cut to where everything starts going haywire, and we'll go from there, all right? So we're gonna talk to the captain, and we're gonna go from there, all right? Oh ho ho! You must be the one of Forsorison, aren't you? Please, please come! I've been expecting you. My name is Augustus, Augustus Brian. I come from a family of sailors. I happen to be the captain of the SS Oceana. So tell me, how's your voice so far? Surely it must be joined. It's been great. Oh ho ho, that's what I like to hear. I've done my very best to keep th things nice and orderly on this ship. Anyway, your mother asked me to go through a few things with you before we disembark in Navy. Is there anything you wish to know in particular? Very well, in that case, let's end our little conversation. The farewell banquet is about to begin after all. Surely you've heard of the farewell banquet. And even if you haven't, the name is enough to explain what it is, yes? Today is the final day of our journey, and as such, we'll be celebrating a successful voyage. Feel free to explore this ship to your leisure, but don't take too long. Mostly because we're all starving. All right, so I'm gonna cut it off here, and I'll meet you guys at the next event. All right, and we are back. So I'm assuming this is what the next trigger spot is, so I decided to do it right now, you know, just so that we're all on the same page. So we're gonna talk to our mom and get this shit rolling. Are you ready to start the banquet? Yes. Excellent, let's get settled. Hello, everyone, I'm Augustus. I've been your captain during this luxurious voyage. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the farewell banquet, where we celebrate the end of our voyage and the beginning of something new. I hope that this trip will forever stay in your memories, especially as a fond one. But I won't keep you all too long. I'm sure you're all starving. Let's begin! <laughs> Sorry, but I think there's something that needs to be taken care of first. Hmm? Huh? What is the issue here? Please return to your seats. This ship is under our control now. What is the meaning of this? It's, is this a hijacking? You must be insane if you run in front of people like us. But we'll give you the benefit of the doubt and let you sit back down. Come on, take our generous offer. I refuse. Good, <laughs> you'll regret this, lady. Crescent, get Soros on out of here. <laughs> this ship is going down. Craziness going on. This is different than it was before. You there, child! Thank goodness you're alright! I was just hanging around out here, and there's this huge explosion! It knocked me on my feet and fell out of my face, but I'm alright! But unfortunately, we're trapped because the flooring here has gone under! What? what Oh god, the fuck is the oxes! Alright. Hey, look who it is! I gotta say, kid, I'm glad to see you! I don't know how you were able to weasel your way out of that explosion, but kudos to you! Are you okay? Yes, I'm doing well enough, thank you for asking. The smoke in here is intense. We can't stay here for long, though. The captain seems to have been conscious through all of this. Maybe he'll know something? You gotta make sure she's fine, you know? Everything is good. Gives me good bonus points <laughs> for friendship, I guess. Augustus, you're too close to the fire. Please step back. The beautiful Estes Oceana is done for. My prized possession. She won't make it to her destination after all this time. The ship can be replaced. What can't be replaced are the lives that are still strewn around the ship. Look, Sorosan survived the blast, didn't they? Oh? You've been conscious for this entire ordeal. Do you know where Sorosan's mother is? Uh, yes. 
After the explosion, Nancy jumped down in the lone pursuit of the assailant that destroyed the ship. So she's down there then. That's no good. Come on, Augustus, we need to get off this thing. If we work together, we can. Geronimo! <laughs> Obviously, I gotta save my mom. Ow. Good boy. I guess this is it for us. There's no way we can escape from this place. Uh, there's always a way. Ow. That, that you actually get hurt? That's cool. <laughs> is it, okay, it might be bad, but it's something took the other guy that was in here. I'm just hiding in here and waiting for help to arrive. This is nuts. Oh my goodness, aren't you sores? That explosion threw me halfway across the room. Now I'm afraid to move. I've sent out a help signal to nearby receivers, but who knows if anyone caught it? Everything's going crazy. Let's go. Kaboom! Okay, so we. What the fuck? This shit's about to get serious. Got still doing it. God damn, he blew this man away! She blew him away! Goodness gracious! Alright, let's head down. Let's head down here. Okay, we got some water. Shit's going crazy. Yeah, we can't do nothing over there. Yep, my mom's here with her Sylveon. Her trusted Sylveon. Uh, fucking ninjas or some shit. I've had about enough of this. No more running around. What are you doing and why? Isn't that Nastasha? Perhaps you should be less concerned about me and more concerned about our guests that just joined us. What? sora -san. But what are you doing here? I thought Crescent... She was supposed to send you somewhere safe. Sorry, safety's long gone with both of you. For now, we're gonna go ahead and take our target. You. Me? That's right. Did you think our target was Sora's or something? Anyway, I was only going after you, but since you both decided... Since both of you decided... I fucking... I, <laughs> my bad. I'll be happy to take you back to HQ on silver platters. What? What just happened? What's going on? What? Hello? Oh god! Now do you understand? There isn't any future for this ship, but for anyone else you put through this. Glad you see things my way. But I will create hope for at least one person! Mom, no! Sorry, son. I know that we've been distant, but know that I only want you to be happy. And while it hasn't been for a long time, I was able... I was glad to be able to share time with you on this ship. I will hold her off for as long as I can, but I want you to run. Even on a place as confined as this vessel, you must run anyway. Even in times where future seems impossible, and you must keep on. For it is through that pursuit of hope that opportunity shines through. And wherever you end up, find new friends, new opportunities, new love. Know that no matter where you are or what you're doing, I'm looking upon you, smiling, protecting. That's my love for you, Sora-san. A mother's love. Go, my child. Run! Mom, no! Don't do this, Mom! Why? Why must you do this? Dude, we get cutscenes now? Bro, okay, this is... This is hype. This is hype as hell. These... These... Okay, they... They really... <laughs> the fucking piano lady! Keep going, kid! Get out of here! Dude, I love the way that they're doing this. This is... Listen, this is way crazy. Get out of here! This is awesome. I, I gotta say, this is amazing. They caught me! Oh, damn. I fucking skipped that. <laughs> Your mother made a heartfelt speech, but this is the real world. And the fucking ship. The town flame! What in the... What just happened? Nothing in particular. They got away, despite what I said. We are in the real world, and the real world is full of unexpected occurrences. Leave them. We'll see sora again. For now, we need to abandon ship. Aye. <laughs> Bro. Bro! That was wild. Dude, they have up the game. This shit looks clean! Bro, they have, they have outdone themselves. Okay? They really have. <laughs> this looks amazing. 
Would you like to save the game? Hell yeah! I'll <laughs> flame over here. And then the chick that saves our ass. Oh dear! Oh thank goodness, I was able to save at least one person. So I was gonna explain what happened. I see. That's a harrowing tale. I'm so sorry you went through that. I was on my way to East Garen from Turajuma when I picked up a distress call. Talonflame and I made our way to that location as fast as possible and, well... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even properly introduce myself. Dude, I love these, these, these new, like, character portraits. They have upped their game. My name is Tesla. Tesla Von Brock. I'm from the tropical island of Avium. That being Terajuma Island. It's my pleasure to meet you. What's your name? Your name is Thorason. What a wonderful name. Now that that's out of the way, I wanted to say that I wouldn't worry about your mother. It looks like the group that attacked the ship was Team Zen. They're a criminal organization that seemed to have just popped up in Avium out of nowhere. But they're usually known to be somewhat incompetent, or at least rarely active. That's what's so confusing about this. I believe this is our first actual attack. Oh, but this means you're all alone now, aren't you? If you don't mind me asking, what do you plan on doing? Go to the... That's a wonderful idea. You may be able to get your own Pokemon from there. You'll need one if you're going to be traveling around Avian. I think I'm going to head to the wreck site to see if I can find any more survivors. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. Things will work out eventually if you're patient. We'll see each other again soon, Sora-san. Clear the way, pretty please. Full speed ahead, Talonflame. Tailwind! And she's on. Okay, so I'm going to cut again. I'm going to handle some business. And then when I get to the laboratory, then I'll come back. All right, we're officially here. We made it. We're here with Amanda. She's gonna guide us to where we need to go. <laughs> so let's get started. There wasn't much I could do. Literally the whole city's blocked off now. They, they've reshaped the whole pier and even ease gear in. As soon as you enter, you don't have as much freedom as you used to before, which is cool. And they're literally guiding you where you gotta go. And then you can explore the wide open you know, space of avium afterwards so let's go ahead and find out what, she, what we're gonna do i wish i could talk to everybody here but obviously right now we can because we're gonna do our thing okay right through here not so fast amanda there's where have you been i've been trying to call you for weeks now and what's with that hat i thought you said they weren't for you uh sorry i've been so busy also yes this hat is new i decided to change my look is all it's got you pretty stunned eh Anyway, Sora-san, this is Jan. He's my brother. Jan, this is Sora-san. Nice to meet you. I'm the head manager for the Avium League. My sister here is the co-manager. Or at least she's supposed to be. But she's been slacking off recently. I'm not good with paperwork. You know that. You're right. If I left you all the documentation, I think you'd burn down this lab eventually. But whatever, I won't keep you two here. It was nice meeting you, Sora-san. Bye-bye, Jan. That's the creator of the game, by the way. Just so you know. This way. Uh, do I go upstairs or do I, what's it say? Gear and archive, gear and restrooms, lock. Ooh, this, huh, you don't even have a Pokemon with you. If you want to help me? Oh, okay. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will be keeping track of side quests and stuff like that. So I'm give me one second and I'm going to write this down so that I know for when we do the stream later uh, in a week. I'll be able to do this stuff right from the get go. Okay, I'm back. I wrote it down. I'm gonna have a notepad open during the streams to be able to find, you know, guide myself through all the quests that we have and stuff like that. Owie, sorry, I'm gonna rush. Please excuse me. Later. <laughs> right this way. And above all else, make sure she's there for the pickup. I assure you that things have already been set in motion. Professor Jenner, I brought the new trainer as requested. <clears throat> Oh, oh, Amanda, I didn't think you'd get here so soon. So soon? We're technically late, Professor. In any case, welcome to my laboratory, Sora. I'm the lead scientist here at Garen Laboratory. I was hired by Jan and Zumi. Professor, you always put the trainers with this lengthy introduction. Can't we just skip this for once? Uh, I suppose you're right. In that case, please take Sora's on and help them choose right away. Oh man, this is the best part. Let's go. This is a hard decision, but if you're having trouble, there's a machine in the back of the room that will drop down a random Pokemon from the ones you can select here. Good luck. Okay, so we have all the way to Gen 8. And the Oshawott still follows you around. That's adorable. And this is the randomizer, right? Okay. So this is where officially 
the video ends, okay? Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stand, stand next to Amanda. Okay, um, this is where the official uh, end of this video um, happened because now I'm leaving it in your hands as my viewers, right? So basically the only exception, and I'm putting this hard rule in here because that's just me. I will not be using Froki ever, okay? So if you would want to go and pick that as your choice, I'm sorry, but Froki is my least favorite Pokemon in you know, like the entire line is my least favorite in the entire history of the games, right? I despise it with a passion. So unfortunately, that means that we cannot um, have it um, as my as my starter choice, correct? Right? So what I'm gonna do um, is allow you guys. So basically what that means is that don't vote for it, essentially. So, so the game plan for you all right now is that you're gonna go in the comments and you're gonna vote or you're gonna choose or comment, whatever, which starter you want me to use. So basically you're gonna be able to pick one out of the 23 remaining starters. And while I don't generally like any of the Gen 7 starters, right? I don't actively despise any of them to the degree I do with the Froki line, right? So you have 23 options. You gotta comment in the in the comment section below. Give me a name for one of them. And then you can also uh, thumbs up other um, other comments that you see uh, that you like. And basically, I'll be going through either how, which one has the most comments or which one has the highest vote, depending on which one's more. So if I see more comments for one starter, meanwhile there's one vote that has a lot, the multiple that are written down because that's more, I see more of that as an active participation, which is kind of unfair. But if I see um, one, that's just like really high up in numbers in terms of likes, then obviously that's gonna be the choice. So basically giving you guys a whole week and a couple days, cause technically speaking, we won't start this Let's Play stream until the 24th of November. So you have some time to, to pick your choices, vote and then like as many other comments that you see, right? I want this to be an active, um, an active community for this game. Okay, since I'm returning back to it, I really want to get through this um, this time around, right? So I hope to have your support, um, and I can't wait to see what your choices are. As a reminder, once more time, Froki is banned. Okay, if you vote for Froki, that one is immediately disqualified. I might make a note of it in the community post. I will be uh, writing uh, at the time that I release this video for you guys. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on the first episode back to Pokemon Rejuvenation. Uh, I can't wait to play this game with you guys, and and we'll see you guys um, for this game in particular next weekend, November 24th. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been your boy, Sorosa Croxon, and make sure to leave those votes in the comment section below.